Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helen today, along with. Is my Lieutenant here at your service? And what the heck is going on? Hmm. Wait, wait, where did these white lines under me and next to you come from? Wait. Um. Yeah. I, I I hope this is only on my end. Uh, let's see. Give me a sec to try and fix that. The window projector must be bugging out there again for go. a sec. Oh. Okay. <laughs> for, for some reason, that the window projector, which I screen shared just, yeah, through Discord, so Ricky can actually see as well, just has a habit of being funky. <clears throat> Anyways, welcome to Showcase Sunday number 116, where, well, we'll showcase some games for about half an hour each. <clears throat> I had to throw one out just before because it started to get just misbehaving. Uh, luckily, I, I had accidentally installed the ninth game already because I missed one in the list that I made on the <clears throat> on Google Sheets and on well, the bottom of the Discord server at the moment. So yeah, we do have eight prepared, but we'll probably <clears throat> we'll probably hit more like four or six. And the first one we're starting with is probably looking a bit familiar, Subsurface Circular, which, yes, is related to Subsurface Quarantine, which is a game we... or Quarantine Circular, this is a game we have covered before. And, yes, these games are related, along with <laughs> Thomas Was Alone, uh, another game that we showcased at one point, I think it was Volume, it was a top-down stealth game, and... <laughs> probably the most known of them all, Thomas was al alone. And also the Solitaire Conspiracy, because apparently each... <laughs> all of these games take place in the same damn universe. Mm. I am concerned. But yeah. They do, from what I have seen, they do all play differently, so that is why we are, well, picking, showcasing this one as well. So let's start a new game. Okay. Always nice when there is developer commentary, but yeah, we can't activate that even if we wanted to. Okay, that wasn't as loud as with Quarantine, which, well, was very loud for some reason. Recognition. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, see what the stranger wants. It's gateway, focus point, objectives. Okay. This is... Uh, is all of this going to take place on the subway? <laughs> circular. Okay. Alpha 7, initiate private link up. Let's see, are you a detective at a high level? Uh, I am, hello. Thank the architects. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I don't know much about this world. Like, I have seen a playthrough of Thomas Was Alone. But from what little I see, th these are basically, well, AI that ascended uh, into sentience and then got bodies or something like that. I know there is also just free-floating AI supposed to be through the internet and such. <clears throat> Let's see. I have not seen one of you since just after I was released. I'm a mid, basic, really. Uh, but I need your help. I need to detect like you. 
Let's see, mids are pretty clever. I'm sure you don't need my help. Does a mid pick up on social cues? No, let's let the tech be. Uh, let's just be kind still. Let's see. The next uh, Gateway, change here for outer. And uh, it's glitching. Uh, let's see. Communicator says fabricator. Why do you manage it? Uh, why do you. Uh, white management. Man, good management. Worth. Put that much smarts in a fabricating tech. I'm an overseer. It means I have to tour management around. Uh, human tech relations require at least a mid sentence structuring, full vocal inputs. People like to talk to a tech who knows when to laugh at a joke. Okay. I'm guessing mid is like an intelligence tier or something. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me a joke that a human could uh, told you, even if you don't understand the joke. Let's see. In my experience, humans don't really mind about that. The laughing is the important part. I think I have a case for you. What does a high-level detective uh, get assigned? What does a uh, grammar, I think, there? Uh, documentation says that high levels are capable of learning abstract thoughts. Uh, I'm a problem solver. Management has me investigate discrepancies, workflow errors, which takes smarts. I understand. Well, I understand as best as I'm able. They say your sort, your your sort are near human. You solve crimes. I do. We're investigating right now. I've just finished a few cases. A few uh, attempted murder. A low-level steered a cab at a human child topside. The election of duty. A security tech was too busy chatting with a body to assist humans who needed its support. Destruction of property. A teacher tech intentionally melted their arm to demonstrate the risk associated with chemicals to a room of eight-year-olds. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure each and every one of these is a breach of the, uh, what were they called? The Asimov? Um, uh, the, the three laws of robotics. Do not harm a human. Do not let harm come to humans through dereliction. Uh, through, or through inaction. And don't harm, you know, don't harm yourself unless it breaches the other, other two. And also, will a... Dude, he's a detective, so he may be not as restricted as a police. Or as mm -hmm. a police detective. Yeah, we're working with a lot... We're working with only the more well, information we can pick up right here, so... We'll just have to see. Plus, it might not be that the robotic laws actually exist in this universe. Or at least don't work. Doesn't Asimov's second law make that impossible? In my line of work, you tend to see a lot of texts find the shades of grey. Human author wrote those laws before we even existed. How much, you know, how much must they hate us to assume we're so eager to destroy? That we'd need laws to hold us back? Uh, if he was wrong, I wouldn't have a job. Everyone needs laws, everyone's got a place to stay in. If I had your job, I'd... Nope, I'm geolocked. Can't leave this train. Assembly one. Change Humans don't, uh, don't like to let the smart techs wander around free range. Like I said, human authors have written a lot of cautionary tales about us. Let's find the seats down here are comfy. Let's go with being fully honest on that. Need your help. Don't mistake me for a human, kids. I don't get to choose my cases. I'm assigned to my management. Uh... I'd really like to. My friend, my friend is gone. Gone? I can't help but get my cases from management. But you have to... Tau has disappeared and you won't help me. New objective, new focus point, disappearances, find out what the fabrication tech knows. And, well, we have only... A Oh, okay, we can use these to put in extra lines. Who exactly disappeared? Wait, something changed. Did you just unlock a focus point? Town. How 13, my friends. Uh, how do you know about my core functions? 
Yeah, like the thing, like the, the bit I showed before, well, <laughs> yeah, towards the end of the pre-stream, this is a very story-heavy game and such, and well, it is also a short game, so I'm presuming they are working... Well, yeah. How do you have a pistol? Okay, that, <laughs> that was an un a fortunate or an unfortunate line to just uh, reveal that. Oh, angle balloon. Uh, this is probably going to bite us, but oh well. Thank you, architects. Tell me what happened. What disappearances? Tau is gone, but it's not just Tau. Suspicious events are happening across the city, especially down here. I assume that's why you were active. A few texts disappear every week. Started with one or two, but more and more reports as time goes on. Increasing frequency. That's what I heard. That's why I started carrying a gun. I don't want to be the subject of your next investigation. Uh, have you shared this with management? They know. I reported how missing. I suspect that uh, that's where the rumors are coming from. I'm surprised I didn't assign you this. Lots of detectives on the subsurface circular. I'll conduct my own investigation. Thank you. Uh, a gun? Uh, I'm surprised that you're even allowed or capable of grabbing one of those, but then again, we already saw that the, the robotic laws aren't as iron tights here. Let's see. VX-5000. AP ammunition. Should take out anyone trying to hurt me, human or tech. Um... Anything else I should know before upload? Yeah, this seems to be going on in normal time outside, but in-universe, all of this talk could basically be taking place in a, in a couple of seconds. Uh, lots, I guess. Maybe you should hold off on reporting in. Uh, you might be right, kids. Speed we're talking. Am I speaking too fast? I know I do that. Uh, no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, glad to hear it. Of course, as a tech, I, you, know, you can go into settings and update your reading speed at any time. I think we're done here. Thank you, detective. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Okay. Uh, let's see, like I said... Glad to hear it. Of course, as a tech, you can go in. Yes. Uh, let's off. Anything else? Not that I know of. I'm just glad that I met you. I think you're going to figure this whole thing out. And that's another objective done. Okay. Next station is compile. Yeah, my stop is coming up. Good luck. I hope you, know, you find my friends. What's your name, by the way? I never realized I never asked. Uh, let's say Theta. Goodbye, Theta. The next case, complete the first sequence. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure. Glitching okay. out again. Uh, I'm unsure in this game. Like, it is impressive and all, but... Yeah, it is most like the other... <clears throat> uh, oh, that's a bunch of bots, or techs. Uh, it is like with uh, quarantine, it will mostly be chatting and such, and investigations through that, because, well, it's, <laughs> we are apparently just lost to being on this train. Uh, probably because we're supposed to be going either back to management or towards the next case. And this is basically us going uh, a little bit rogue. But, yeah. But yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like they was made all these games. They, they're making a good game, yes. But so far, as far as I remember, none of them really been our type of game. Yeah, they, they are interesting, but they are basically uh, 
uh, more fancy versions of uh, text adventures. Which is nothing, and there's nothing wrong about that. It's just that we typically play games who are, which are a bit more active, like this one. Yeah, like, and we do like a story heavy game. They, that was not supposed be... to pop up that big. Dude, the, some of the games do seem like they enter in areas that could be not uncomfortable to read or see. It's, no, not that. The heck is okay. Yeah, the game was supposed. Apparently, a bunch of the games today just do not want to play ball with staying in their freaking resolution. So, let me just move this into position. Okay, I, I was okay. I was trying not to use uh, DX window for each and every game with this, with the hope that most of these games would stay in their bloody place after I'd moved them up like this. Because yeah, with the new uh, <clears throat> with the new location for the, the where the window capture is and such, I, with most games I just need to move them up. The problem is that whenever I start uh, with some of these, it's very clear that when I start them up, they don't actually stay in their place. So yeah, I'll probably have to go back just putting DX window on each and every one of them just to make sure they behave. Okay, um, and also, can you explain what is going on? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is Super Samiro, which is, well, <laughs> it's an old school stylist platformer. Um, you, actually... mean you made a game about me? No. <laughs> sure? Uh, actually, the, this game does have a bit of a free bit, uh, intro bit, so. Uh... Wait, wait. If. Uh, uh, I mean... Where is it? Okay. This game has an intro bit that I do want to show a bit of. Uh, but first I need to... Yeah, I'll have to put it back onto Borderless Gaming, which will take just a sec. So just add it there. And instantly it tries to go full screen. I, I really wish there was some way to just put a basic on this. Or a preset that it would try to go to. Instead of just always jumping to full screen. Okay. There. Uh, so, so far I can't see anything. Mm. No. Gotta move that back. Remove that and there then put go. this back always on top. Okay. Uh, quit for a sec. Start it up again. And now it should stay in place. I guess we'll do up after this. After, yep, there we go. Okay, why does that's the second game now that just refuses to go into its normal size in the its assigned size? Okay, yeah. it was just a short bit, but it was well made. And okay. a bit cute. Let, let me see if I get this right. This is a hybrid between Yoshi and Sonic? Uh, basically. Let's see. We have three difficulties relaxed. Most levels have checkpoints. There is no time limit. Most levels have you know, checkpoints, but time limits and advanced levels don't have checkpoints. Perfect for players who want a real challenge. You can also change modes later from the pause menu. Always nice when that's an option. But let's just go with relaxed. <clears throat> also, I should probably try to relax my throat some with some water. The sun, <clears throat> the sun shines as marshmallow-shaped clouds travel across the clear blue sky. Sami and Vera enjoy a day on the beach. Uh, unfortunate place for the cursor to get stuck, like I cannot move it at all. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, far beyond the Molten Sea, the evil Albert VII is in a brooding mood. He is not pleased at the lack of exotic creatures in his collection of stolen relics. Determined to correct this awful situation, he travels far to capture the rarest of pets he can find with his pesky drones. Sammy and Vary don't see him coming. 
Now with the seven swoops in and snatches Vera. Unable to react in time, Sammy watches Vera get carried off, vanishing beyond the horizon. Sammy, very worried about his friend, vows not to rest until he rescues her from Albert the Seventh. Basic I plot, but... <laughs> Too but long. The... Yeah, basic plot, but... <laughs> It, it is basically all you need for an old-style platformer like this. Yeah, and also, I Claudie called it. <laughs> Claudie called it? Okay, that's a new one. You've and, only said uh, many times before. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I, I was right about I call it a mix of Yoshi and Sonic, and they, they had their own version of Robotnik. Yep. <laughs> okay, the goal every time is just going to get to the owl so you can get on to the next level. And yes, you will get ranked on speed. And yeah, let's throw in some Super Mario Bros. 3 as well, huh? Oh, gods. But this game is basically a bunch of old platforming things thrown together in, in, into a blender. But it is an actual pretty good game. Because, well, you have to deal with physics as you go with this. Like, yeah, you, I can't... Yeah, Sami has a certain turning range and such, and you keep momentum as you go. So, you will, if you try to slow down, you are going to need some space you're not going to be able to instantly. And yeah, that's what these first two, uh, first few levels are going to teach. Hmm. Now you can't actually die unless you well, fall off the level at which point you have to restart anyways. But you can get just stopped by enemies. Like that. <laughs> okay, bounce pads, we saw this before, checkpoints. And so yeah, we look like uh, shy guys. Basically. Yes, I think those things are called the modern shy guys. <laughs> well, they're this world. Yeah, <clears throat> this world shy guys. But yeah, uh, basically, avoid enemies. You can't kill them. They will only slow you down. On to the next. And here, speed paths get introduced. I'm not surprised. Hmm? Well, does it look a bit mixed between Yoshi and Sonic in a way in what they do? I would expect them to use the time to uh, um, do what Yoshi does. Eat them? <laughs> no, they, they can grab onto enemies. Also, hello there. Like that. Oh, yeah, those can be destroyed. But you can't actually eat enemies. Okay. Missed the speed path. And yeah, you can use the tongue to drag yourself towards enemies or objects. But if you pull yourself towards an enemy, you are very likely to, well, drag yourself into pain. Bounce points. So you can actually get out of the, uh, the tongue pull early by jumping. Also, a wall jump. Why was there signboard and arrow over it? Yep. We have to yep. run past a uh, tip or something. Maybe. <clears throat> but yeah, there's quite a bit of. <laughs> there's quite a bit of technique that you can get out of this game. And hello there in chat, Marco. Why does this look like Sonic? Because it was inspired by Sonic in part. Uh, also, right. hello, uh, Teenage Mutants. <laughs> uh, psychic Turtle. No, that hill, that hill. The new turtle she has is uh, mixed, mix, uh, inspired by those turtles from Moro, yes, as well. And also, Kamehameha. Yep. That's what they are doing, not psychic yep. powers. <laughs> but yeah, th this game at some point starts to really encourage you to just try and break it. 
by finding shortcuts with more advanced techniques like the uh, yeah the tongue jump I'll call it there and well just finding ways around the the environment that are faster than the normal path would be not that I'm any good at much of this myself really he just went straight for it. there and that brings this down so yeah, this may seem like a really basic kitty platformer, but you <laughs> it can get quite advanced. And with the time limit on, it can get quite uh, tough as well. Let's see, one six, rise, sink, repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, this, water physics. This game does feel like it's really aiming for the nostalgic... Uh, yeah, nostalgia. And people who just want good platformers. Yeah. There. Red is safe. Otherwise, it's not. Have nope. Respect for it. Just probably not. It's not going to be our our thing, which is yeah. something we've been finding quite a bit of lately, huh? Nope. Yeah. Troll thing. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. God damn it. I feel like we were kind of expecting that when we were to do the second run, but we have found some uh, unexpected uh, gems. True. And the list of games that we get to showcase is going to shrink more and more as we go. Yeah. And yeah, yeah most we... levels also have these raspberries to find. I forget if they're for anything specific or if they're just for the finding and proving that you, well, found it. I don't know, we do plan on streaming Switch and console games. Yep, and I'll have to... I'll have to start showcasing those, or showcasing those more as we go. Yeah, we, we only done it yep. once. Uh, yeah, we only done it once, haven't we? Yep, yep. just ahead of the water. A special showcase Sunday it was with the way trial run, since you only just got the capture cost for them. Yep. And by now, I have a better capture card anyways. Just made that. There we go. But yeah, basically, this game is for people who want to, well, have a good platformer to play and people who like speedrunning. Or trying to get through these levels as quickly as freaking possible. Let's see. <laughs> Can, okay, this is what we can use the raspberries for. <laughs> Accessories and such. Let's see. <laughs> Macho mustache. <laughs> uh, let's see. We want, let's do one more and then we can move on. Shrouded mushroom keep. I would have said for this is Shrouded Kingdom Keep. And yeah, now we have freaking mustache. Okay, this is where it, it tells you about the tongue finally. And uh, come on. It's good for getting over plat uh, over gaps that uh, well you can't jump over. But you can also just cheese a bunch of other jumps that otherwise you would uh, be able to jump over, but would be just a bit too short on, for example. Yep. <laughs> Same play birds. And with a bit of work, you can also just jump your way up... Uh, come on. Up a... Uh, up up a surface with it. There. And there we go. Let's see, Marco. Let's see the mustache. What is this game called? Since I'm quite interested. In it. It's called Super Samiro. And well, just having one people get interested in it is one of the reasons why we showcase these games. Besides just uh, yeah, seeing if they're any good for streaming or not. Let's just do one more. And you can see how quickly things are getting more and more complex with this. 
Mm. Balloon. Okay. <clears throat> there. Yep. 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 There we go. Yeah, it it can be pretty tricky, but people will there will always be people who like it when the, these kinds of games get more more and more tricky. Okay. And. It's. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, okay. I either I forgot this or I completely missed this. But Sami has a bounce to work with, and there we go again. <laughs> okay, let's give it one more try to stop wasting a lot of time on this, and then we'll move on to the next game. Yeah, a pretty fun and good you know, game. It uh, looks very kiddy, but it does get pretty tough pretty quick. Though fairly tough, not impossibly tough. Uh, wrong way. Uh, let's see. Marco, it's kind of like Super Mario 64 in its design and gameplay like Sonic. Yeah, basically. Okay. And... It does have boss battles at the end of each of these worlds, though. Though they are your typical stuff, what you would expect. Just dodge around and hit the weak spots when they get exposed. Uh, again, not really a game for our style, but it is a. It is still a good game. Yeah. What in the name of? Okay, Gog for this one. And it's there. We go. Hide <clears throat> games. Assemble entertainment. <laughs> yep, this is the Swine HD remaster. <laughs> I think I'm out of this game. <laughs> yeah, Swine was a game I never played myself, but I heard quite a bit about. Uh, it's from the 90s, about, and it was, well, a very. I hadn't actually heard if it was an actually good game, but it was a very, a, a very eye-catching one. I want to know if it was mentioned in a review or something. <laughs> That's it. That's how I know about it. Welcome, soldier, to the training base of the Field, Forest and Meadows unit of the Rabbit Army. I'm your drill sergeant, and I'm in charge of training the recruits. Soldier, your first duty is to learn how to control the camera. Grab that mouse and move the pointer to the right side of the screen. Okay, it's going to be Excellent. doing everything. Execute the same action on the left side of the screen. Okay, just doing this Very to check good. if there's any mechanics specific for you this game with this. You can perform these actions using the keyboard. Use the arrow keys. And yes, that's a very French rabbit. Good. Soldier, your next duty is to rotate and tilt the camera. To rotate, press the left and right mouse buttons or the middle mouse button and hold them down. Okay. When you move the mouse toward the left and the right, you can rotate the camera. <laughs> when you move oh, it oh, up hello. and down, you can tilt the camera. Check the minimap. Give it a try, soldier. Very good. Okay. That's unique. That, yeah, that's something I haven't seen before. Scrolling wheel, you can use the wheel to change the camera zoom level. As an alternative, you can use the plus and minus keys. Execute that order, soldier. Well the... done. Oh, I think I've seen something In similar. In the lower just... left corner of the screen, you will see the map. You can use the map to issue quick movement orders with the click of a mouse. On the map, our units will be shown in green, and the enemies will be in red. Soldier, let me introduce our most effective unit, the light tank. 
Move the mouse pointer over the unit and select it by clicking the left mouse button. I'm waiting for an assignment. The green bar under the unit shows its armor level. If that bar goes down to zero, that unit is being destroyed. The red circle you can see around the units shows their maximum shooting range. You can find more information about the units in the information list at the bottom of your screen. This is something now that's pretty the rare, I believe. Button next to the unit to eliminate the highlighting. To move Press the unit, thing. you will have to select it again <laughs> using the left mouse button. Then move the mouse I'm pointer listening. over area one and press the right mouse button. Okay, I'll give the game that it certainly has some things that you don't really see too often, like them actually showing how far, how long a distance your units can attack from. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that a few times, but not too often. At that camera, I recognize it. Like we haven't seen it before. Just this is a different take on it. But the camera follows where your camera is. Uh, you mean the minimap changes to on the unit, Yeah. You will have to select it again using the left mouse button. Okay, and he'll go. Then he'll start complaining if we don't do things. Area one and press the right Moving mouse button. To the next position. <laughs> uh, yeah, usually those kind of minimaps when they follow the camera can get very annoying. Very good. Now attack the enemy. That's what Click on the enemy unit with the right mouse key. Yeah, I, I can definitely see some hints as to why this game is pretty well remembered, even if it isn't brought up too much. But yeah, well, this game is basically going to be like it. Uh, I forget if it specifically tries to. Uh, f uh, basically, puts its French rabbits against German swine. Or pigs. So I don't remember if it's supposed to be sort of trying to emulate the Second World War or not. I don't think so, at least. <clears throat> We're definitely seeing some features that would be very much appreciated in a, some modern games. Excellent! And yeah, just also so very next stylistic. Job is learning how to implement the unit's special functions with military mm. precision. The light tank can dig its way down into the earth. This gives it better protection, while of course limiting its mobility. To use this special function, you have to select the corresponding symbol in order menu or press the X key. We are digging in. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure special abilities were not that common back Good. in the day as well. When you want to deactivate the special function, you will have to click on the Prepare symbol again the or press march. the X key. Like special abilities are pretty common in RTS games these days, but Very back in the Good. 90s, not so much, I think. Select the commander's vehicle in question and move it to area 4. And actually were... There were many hmm. times you could just play a game uh, where, like, Warcraft 2 and such, where the units had the spells and such. Yeah, but that made more sense in the uh, the setting and such. Most modern, or quote-unquote modern, RTS games didn't have it as much, I think. Like, I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the original Command and Conquer and such. I'm hurrying! Uh, well done! Hmm. Yes, Click on the corresponding what? symbol to request a bomber. And then select the target you want to destroy. The rare. If it was rather a two, but you were able to tell the GI to do well, sandbag it up. True, but that's more As... in the later 90s. Anyone yeah. Order a loaded round of flying pizzas? What? Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, and Starcraft, you could put the tanks into siege mode and such, but... True. Yeah. It was not super common. Excellent! It, it, you, you could see... draw your attention to the fact that requesting bombers oh, will cost funny. you strategic points. The points at your disposal are displayed in the commands list. Over here, Select yeah. the artillery unit and move it to area 2. There. Action! 
Uh, yeah, okay, I feel like might need to jump out of this towards the story. Yeah, I would say this, uh, it was around the 90s. The artillery can but only it, fire oh, after oh, its oh, supports oh. have been lowered. Switch into a battle Click position. on the corresponding <laughs> symbol to prepare the artillery for firing. The yellow circle that you see marks the minimum range of the artillery. It can't fire within this circle. Your next task is the shelling of a target. Select the attack symbol in the command menu, or press the A button and select a target within range. Uh, there are only a few shrubs standing. Yeah, the, the 90s was where special abilities and such really started to come in. Uh, Good. Mm. Yeah, With, that's uh, what I was RTS saying. Games. It consists of repairing this damaged unit and replenishing it with supplies. Highlight oh, yeah. the unit and move it to area five. Right. Yeah, what was it? What well, really say? I was to uh, before I got included in the drop the battle rabbit, I was to say that it was around the 90s where abilities started to become a more and more thing. Like there was in the early stages. Yeah. And apparently Marcos brothers threw a snowball at them <laughs> inside. The right mouse button on the damaged unit. Let's see, repair trailer. Repair. <laughs> okay, just throw As some cogs at it. See, the unit's condition is steadily improving. Oh, okay, I see. You can also perform this action with the help of the command menu. Vehicles now, mark the fuel trailer. Click the appropriate symbol in the command menu, and then click with the left mouse button on the unit. Okay, I see where this is going. This is probably what make this game so. Uh, yeah, recognized at the time, your vehicles use up fuel and ammunition as you go. Okay, so you have to be, you have to keep your logistics in mind with this as well. This is yeah, this is very much rare even to these day in this day. The only game yeah. I can think of at the moment Resupply would have similar with new ammunition. would be a foxhole. I know uh, one old pixel game or pixel something that almost looked like a Warcraft two. I don't know its name, but I think it actually recently popped up on my YouTube recommendations. I did look of it up. But you can can, can refuel Very good. tanks and unlock them. Now you will find to show you how them to use in the wild. We can move <laughs> units with the help of the tow trucks. Select Big. the tow truck. Move okay, do they really say what's up, Doc? To area five. Navigation system program. Yes, see, so Marco. Far, I I thought he would stop uh, that since he is older uh, than me. Sometimes I think I'm the mature one. Well, it certainly sounds like it. Yeah, but... Now, in the pause, click on the appropriate symbol in the command menu, and then select the trailer to attach it to the tow truck. Okay, no options for subtitles, it seems. Hello? Anybody else? Uh, well, yeah. Excellent! Tow the trailer been... to area one oh, and oh, unhook oh. it by they, it's a tutorial. symbol in the <laughs> command <laughs> menu. Of course they're going to be chatting our ears off. <clears throat> I'm more aware of the timing. But yeah. If we were uh, he threw a smoother ball around when I was younger, you know, where before people we were entrenched with PC game and such. I'm not be too bothered, but if someone sits by the computer, don't throw snowball at them. All and yeah. Good. We urgently require repair. Select this rack and try yes. to move it. I don't know about that. The okay. same uh, thing yes. over As you can and see, over. this unit is incapable of motion. Now select the tow truck and click on the rack with the right mouse button. Okay, so when your units are destroyed... They aren't fully I'm destroyed. To get paid for my mileage here. Oh dear. Yep. Right, Let's see I was gonna say a snowball and a PC or in a machine probably don't go well together. Yeah, just any sort of water <laughs> and electronics. Uh, so yeah, sounds like your brother's an idiot, Marco. I think uh, they mentioned that before. Very good. What's the other? Now pull the unit to area one and repair it using the repair trailer. 
Uh, okay, of course it's slowed down because it's pulling a tank behind itself, which is a lot heavier than a, well, a trailer. And yeah, we can keep a track... Uh, we can check and keep a track of its, uh, its fuel and such over here. What? Yeah, health, uh, ammo, fuel, and experience. Okay. Now, let's start the patching that. Yeah, I, I can definitely see why this game was <laughs> thought was highly thought of back in the day. And why it was deserving of a remaster. Let's see, Marco. It's kind of like Stronghold Crusaders, where they spam the Yolo and Gold voice eight times in a minute. Soldier, before each mission you will have the opportunity to purchase units. If you have any points left over... You can also use them during the mission to request additional units. Click on the Request Unit button in the command menu. There. Now you will see a menu in which you can choose one unit and a maximum of three extra pieces of equipment per unit. Select a unit and the equipment items and then click on the Request button. Okay, upgrades as well. Yeah, definitely see why every why this is all. To area four and press the left mouse key. And they're going to airdrop it in. Yep, they're going to airdrop it in. Which, well, you could try and drop stuff behind enemy lines, but if they have anti-air, your your unit is likely to get destroyed along the way there. Right has been dropped up. Good luck, boys. Now I'm about to explain some important things to you, so pay attention. You can use these symbols in the upper part of the command menu to change the speed of the game. The first symbol is the pause, which you can also activate by pressing the space bar. If you click on the next symbol, the game will proceed at normal speed. The third symbol makes the game run twice as fast as normal. The command menu also lets I'm you control the behavior of the unit. This lets us decide how the unit should react when it meets up with an enemy unit. Select the tank. <laughs> the upper row is only used by battle units. You can use it to tell the gunner what to do. The first symbol means fire at will. That means the enemy is fired at automatically. The second symbol means return fire. In that case, the unit will only fire when it's being attacked. The third symbol is the order to hold your fire. In this mode, the unit won't fire at all. In the bottom row, you can specify how the driver's supposed to act. The second symbol means stop. The unit will not budge from its position if enemy contact occurs. The second symbol means pursue. Here, enemies will be followed as long as they're in view. The third symbol is the order to retreat. In this mode, the units will withdraw when they discover an enemy. Okay, these are unusual here. I have passed all my knowledge on to you. I wish in about you 50 minutes success in your future <laughs> encounters. Okay, good thing that we did cover that just to have some of that explained. Let's see what we can... Okay, we have rabbit campaign and pig campaign. Uh, easy, medium, and hard. Always nice to have difficulties <laughs> to choose one. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Save the rabbits from being overrun by the pigs and then defeat the rabbit armies. Let's just go with this first one, the quote-unquote good on guys. On August 3rd, under the orders of General Iron Tusk, the National Army of Pigs crossed the border without warning and penetrated deep into Karatland territory. Of course. In only two weeks, they burned everything to the ground and blockaded the capital. As a result of the bitter fighting, the rabbit army is decimated. The towns and villages are deserted. The rabbit's determined defense has not been very successful in thwarting the aggressors, and their weakened army is unable to stop the hordes of swine. In desperation, the rabbit government and the rabbit eye command have reached the following decision. Because it will be impossible to defeat Iron Tusk's war machine with a frontal attack, they will need to resort to subterfuge. They will assemble a tough backup team from the remainders of the fighting reserves. 
This team will need to penetrate enemy lines and be able to attack the enemy from behind without suffering too many losses. The objective will be to cause the enemy to lose both their supply lines and their military support facilities. The rabbits are now looking for a good officer capable of executing this plan. Okay, they could have spaced that out some. And yeah, Marco kind of like the turn. Yeah, I have mentioned how much of an no annoyance my brother is before. Hello, more CGI. Keep an eye on the sides there. What the? Ah! <laughs> yeah, about as cheesy as would be expectable from the 90s, huh? Some swine troops have succeeded in breaking through the last defensive line surrounding the city. Luckily, we were able to stop the half hearted attack since the attackers were unable at a critical moment to wake their commanding officer, Lion Ambone, who is leading this operation. Thus, only a few battle vehicles have actually managed to break through on their own piggy initiative. Join the defensive alliances with your units and lead them in a counter-attack. Uh, Amorku, I, I would not be surprised if this is the war swine from PlayStation 1. I have. I do think this game was re released on some other names as well. Yeah. Let's see. The towing vehicles are important units. The outcome of a battle may depend on whether you succeed in securing supply lines of the you know, for the units fighting. Come on, let's rabbits. See. Let's show those pigs who's better. A little exercise won't hurt. Okay. I'll we have found the carrot field. We're making a pit stop. I fight better on a full stomach. <laughs> There's gonna be pork kebabs in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, very charming I game. Hate habits. Not so much if you're French, maybe, with these accents. <laughs> yes, that's how it works. Okay. Bingo. Let's see, there's allied troops all over the French who made this game? I mean, Maybe. <laughs> I'm early okay. on my way. Yeah, these are. Oh. Time for them to die. Uh, you lot might want to move along as well. On board computer, I'm sending them a package. Fire at me. Okay. Yeah, attack moves are a lot use, more useful here. Because, well, if the target they are told to attack dies, they will stop moving, which will start spreading out your units. Okay, now what is with this carrot field? Can it actually be... Oop. That's... Okay. Pardon? you lose! Okay, simple enough for our first mission, of course. Let's see, these pigs won't be fighting anymore. After the commander, Lion and Bone, was successfully woken from his nap and learned about his soldiers' embarrassing initiative, he was enraged and strongly sanctioned all his units for engaging the enemy without his supervision. After lashing out at his unit, he was so shaken that he informed the commander of the reserves stationed nearby to send over all available units to enable Ambone to restore the besmirched honor of the pigs. The reinforcements can only arrive by crossing the river on a stone bridge. If you and your forces succeed in attacking Lion Ambone in the woods before he receives his reinforcements, our troops will have no further trouble with him, nor with the rest of his units. Marco, very good voice acting. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. Yeah, th this game is very much tongue-in-cheek. 
And looks yeah, like we we'll only have a towing vehicle. Okay, this this is going to be the tutorial, not yeah, not the tutorial, but the mission where they test out your well. Oh, hello. Oh wait, you oh you can you can change out the units that you can call in. Okay. All right. Uh, right. What to say is, some probably does feel like it hasn't aged well. Yeah. Like how their rabbits and pigs haunt each other. Okay, I thought I could add them on. Okay, there must be somewhere I can click to add them to my army, but uh, I'm not seeing it. Oh, here, buy. Okay. Let's buy some supplies then. And... Uh, yeah, we'll probably need one of these. And, uh, placing the rocket amp launcher behind the tanks. Okay. Come on, double time to the bridge. I'm already on the way. Let's see. We can mark them as teams. Target has been programmed into the onboard computer. <laughs> Okay, let's haul one of these forwards. But yeah, I can see how this could be played out quite interestingly. By putting up a defensive line. And then putting uh, repair trailers and such behind them. Already as good as at the target. A little exercise won't hurt. Hello, I'm waiting for instructions. Okay. I'm ready. Let's get you over here. Pull you back a little bit. And here they come already. Well then, let's go to it. Now. We are about to mint your meat for you. What's up, though? <laughs> One down. Actually, let's move admit, this a little admit, bit forward. Antenna fly. Well, I was there we go. There anyway. This connects. Okay, it has a shorter range than the actual oh. car does. But, yeah, can we actually tow one of theirs away, Ooh, perhaps? What am I supposed to tow here? I okay, we can't. So we can't, we can't yeah, steal their you units. There's artillery this coming in. <laughs> As if it wasn't clear enough that the Hexa were supposed to be German. Okay, let's pull back, I think. Yeah, I think that artillery is punishing us for getting across the bridge. You get repaired. Yeah. About to be annihilated. I'm being attacked, but I can't see any enemy. Request new orders. Being attacked, but yeah. can't see anyone. Go back. Order, my job. We oh, are dear. moving to the next position. I went to close the door and went back to his zip down chair and. Uh... Okay, can only repair one at a time. Outside. Yeah, I can definitely see why people uh, would certainly enjoy this game, with it being more tactical, or no, more strategic than other RTS games. But many, it, it, but that's uh, very uh, strategic. So you could use a lot of strategies. Just this uh, tactics here are a bit more unique from for that time. I'll take care of it, including that. The fact that they're humping their own wrecks. <laughs> That's kind of realistic, but also... I can see also that can be a bit of a issue as well. Yeah, I can definitely see why there's probably no swine too. And they actually need to turn and such. Okay. Reinforcement has been destroyed and the defeated commander lying Heimbone has been arrested by the military police. Okay, let's call it there. I, 
definitely again another example of a good game that isn't uh, isn't too much in our wheelhouse sadly <clears throat> yeah okay now is this one going to behave and yeah this one is sort of the stars the pits I think, yeah, there we go. I think we might have showcased sort of the stars before. But this is a spin-off of it. Arbuda 4, a rough colony on the edge of human-controlled space. A retirement home for uh, Soul Force veterans from all branches of something, of the Armand Boon. But peace is not their fate. <clears throat> a deadly plague breaks out, ravaging the few, uh, the, yeah, the few established cities of Arbuna uh, 4 and turning its population into twisted, horrible ghouls. There's no cure in human science. A <laughs> zombie virus. The last desperate hope is a rumor of an ancient alien facility built by the uh, Sulka and hidden high in the savage Field Spar Mountains. The text is going a bit fast on this. If the pit is there, and if you can survive exploring it, you might find the source of this plague and have a chance at finding a cure. Maybe it's real. Maybe it's just another tall tale they tell on the rim of known space. You can't be sure of anything. Except the fact that every expedition into those mountains has failed to return. <laughs> Lovely. And nothing creates death better than the Sulka. Of course, okay. I was. I saw you trigger me a bit about someone playing a uh, new game uh, about zombie planets. And apparently, there's a sequel with a demo. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Marco. Uh, ta -da -ta, don't forget the upgrades. And I was too late. Uh, yeah, I, I probably, could, I probably could have used some upgrades in that fight. Uh, Marco, I have uh, put a game recommendation into the Discord. Okay. Yeah. Let's just start this game. Mouse is not being used, so I might as well move that off screen. Uh, let's see. Just double checking. Okay. Starts. New game. Uh, <laughs> insane and seriously. Let's try easy. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Travis Hudson was honorably discharged after the second battle of. Uh, I have no idea what those are supposed. If those in the middle are supposed. Uh, oh, Mjolnir. That, that's, that's an odd looking J. He chose to retire on the rough frontier wall of Arbutnada 4 while building his cabin in the, in the Feldspar Mountains. He met and fell in love with Tamiko you know, Hoshinara. A beautiful young scientist. As a former Marine, Hudson has high might and average finesse, but he might be a few marbles short in the brains department. His combat skills are still sharp. Okay, then we have his equipment. We have stats, and yeah, this is very much a rogue light, if I recall. And yeah, we have a Marine, an Engineer, a Scout, a Scion, a Ranger. Ooh. Uh, Wara Jang is a Tarka Ranger, acting as a scout and spy for the Tarkasian military cast chosen for speed and intelligence. Okay. We have a warrior, a seeker, striker. Okay, I, I like that we we're, we don't just have human characters with this. Shepherd, a Prester Azul, a holy warrior sworn to protect and serve. High charisma. Mercenary Lich. Okay, medic. Let's just go with the most basic marine. Uh, starting a new game will erase your previous progress. Yes. Okay. Uh, no tutorial. Let's see. Uh, nothing. Uh, save and exit. Up, up there's the tutorial. Let, let's actually give that a look because well, this is quite different. Let's see. And it's uh, press enter to continue. Okay, starting the timer here. Be a gentleman and open that door for Sergeant Gunner. It isn't locked. Just walk right up to it. It'll open. Okay. Looks we have field like of vision. Some on the floor. And we have a blind spot behind us. 
Let's see. G to pick up an item and stick it in your backpack. G to view your inventory. G is an odd button for inventory. Let's see. Rations, alpha key, impact armor. Okay, that gets used automatically. You'll be needing some gear. Okay, walk up to a locker space to open it. Why couldn't space just also be uh, just to pick stuff up? Okay. There. Yeah, mechanical skill that's needed to open them. Okay. Lockpick sets, some pistol rounds. Need war breads. We, we actually have to go Take cook it. And your meat and put it in the cooker. Once you got them in there, hit craft. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 combine up there. Combine. Okay, a bit awkward to not be able to use the mouse on this. Uh, hmm. Yeah. It, it, it. Though there have seen at least one YouTuber, I forgot the name, who seemed to be very, very critical about uh, a game not having a. Uh, well, quick button for every single thing. For they talk about uh, like, uh, well, you want like they you're supposed to use your mouse as little as possible to be an ultimate strategy gamer, which I felt like, what the heck is that this guy talking about? Is this so much work to just move the mouse and click? And apparently, we, we can't move the mouse over to the craft button, so. Yeah, I, it it won't leave the inventory unless no. Hmm. Okay, the inventory is selected at the moment. Also, a minor thing that we need to move, we need to press down to even get into these sub options. You would think that you're just putting the first one as the standard selection would work. No. Or. Okay. Just okay. Yeah, I'm getting annoyed just to seeing this. Like, what? How am I what? even supposed to be able to select the stuff? Okay. What? Why are they so against uh, people just using? Cab. Of course. Uh, uh, here's the thing. It would be nice if we were told the tab would swap between. Yeah, already some big points against this game for not telling the fucking controls correctly. It is a thing. If you want to uh, use to almost no mouse, you this. go ahead. Do, do it like on consoles where each icon has show you which button to press. Right. Okay, so I is inventory then. Uh, why did it say that G was for a uh, bucket? There. Okay. Do we have a hunger bar. Blah, 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 blah. Like, it has a little charm. Trouble is. This feels yeah, a like a map port. Yeah, it feels like a bad port of a game that's not supposed to be a port. Yeah. If it means like... I'm going to rush through now. Uh, 
Here's the thing. If you like this is what whoever designed this game really don't like to use the arrow uh, the mouse the mouse on a keyboard yeah it, it... For i feel like a lot of things it would be easier if you were allowed to use the arrow key yeah, well, not, not the, the arrow mouse key. just not mouse yeah mm. yeah let's see Let's see. While holding left control, use arrow keys and press F to lock onto targets. Okay. Uh, not that. Then. Okay. Yeah. Back off. One, two, three. Wait. Okay. You don't give me use. How uh, oh, upset is Rafi? Uh, the mouse for that? Yeah, this very much has the feel of a game that was designed for <clears throat> uh, for console, but never actually ad properly adjusted for. Yeah, shut up, pick the lock. It never f fu actually fully adapted to the controls of a computer and mouse. Okay, touchdown! You've traveled the distance of a football field. It sounds impressive. What is this? Yeah. Biomod. Let's at least finish this tutorial and then we'll call it because this is a big, a hard no just from being a badly ported game. Not badly ported in that it doesn't work, but in that the controls are stupid. Yeah, here's the concern. I don't think it's ported. But they talked about it, you could release it a sequel to this on Steam. And this is a Steam only game? Do you see the problem quickly here? Yeah, it, it might be that they released it on consoles beforehand and then to Steam. Like, I either way, so. either it's a bad port or they it's programmed like a bad port. Yeah, the last rift is worse, but it means that developers didn't really think through the controls. Right, right click on items so now you're saying that the mouse does work no it does not so that is an outright lie uh yeah this is just a badly this is just badly made like this okay mm -hmm. Two, be a free prisoner. Yeah, open that up. Yeah, we are definitely not streaming this game because this is just stupid with... Uh. Yes, yeah, shut up. This is kind of rare. This is one of the games maybe is a hard new on... Before we're even done with the fucking tutorial. Yeah. Uh, cancel. Uh. Okay, so now we broke the tutorial because we declined on switching control to the character. Yeah. <sighs> There, yeah, that is a not. hard ass no. What did you do? I really need the shortcut just to make a statement on that. So then, so I recognize that name. Oh, it is the. It's that. Oh, right. The other game I think you. Oh, oh, right. This game is not called Soda Sound. Soda Sound is a different game. Armor Studio or not, Armor Games Studios, which well, know anyone who knows Flash game. Games. <laughs> I have seen Captain uh, Captain Falcon play this through. Uh, you mean Captain Sauce or some other? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, Mr. Falcon. Oh, that one. Not not, not or... Captain Falcon, Mr. Falcon. Yeah, I don't know why I can't help that one. But this is one of those more less. If Rocky Gazer played, but he has played. 
The times I actually feel he's fun is when he play games like the. Yeah, the, the reason I stopped watching him is because he was only doing the porn games. Like, yeah, really. but he has been returned. He does return to these kind of games and put the clicks now and then when he sees the. He, if that's one that people want to see, he will play them. But he doesn't want to play, do videos. There's no one watching them. This kind of makes sense. But on the other hand, it makes him seem like a clout chaser. Like, he'll do anything for views, and if you do anything for views, then, yeah, you have no value of your own anymore. Anyways, starting timer. Land, land ahoy. It's the never scene. Hey, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Watch out. Uh, really? <laughs> well, that's one way to park. Okay, the Sir Pop sets. What a mess. Are you alive in there? Hey, you wake up. It definitely has a new ground st style of humor. Hmm, another wordless adventurer. Welcome to Never Seen, I guess. I'm Sir Pop sets. Please just call me Sir Pop sets. Since you're done crashing, in, uh, crashing into our harbor, make yourself useful. We've got some pests right outside the gate. Get rid of them. No questions. <laughs> okay. World map. And some pests. Uh, yeah. It, it, armor games is... Uh, there we... That took a bit. Yeah, th this looks very Adventure Quest-ish. And yeah, armor games, new grounds, that's just a whole... Uh, a whole subculture. Yeah. <laughs> As you look up uh, Falcon again sometimes, but again, it has made on many series, it has finished. For mm. if everybody has said, if you people are interested, I will make a series out of this. But I feel like it does a few test episodes. And one of the four of us will be saying, okay, I've done a few games. Do you people want me to continue this? Is it okay? He asked. Yeah, as yeah. long as his primary thing is still just the smut games for easy views, then I have no interest in watching him again. Uh, <laughs> Apparently you can't do anything right now. Game? Don't panic. You'll soon learn fighting moves, hopefully. If not, then the next is idiot bull, maybe. And auto-attacking, okay. A mosquito, really? And dead. Beaten by a mosquito. <laughs> but you got the damn mole. Anyway, you need some serious training. Let's go. Oh, weird. So, I will say to you, Captain Falcon, since you have committed this on yourself, the, the whole algorithm. True, but he, he dug himself into that hole by just doing smut games over and over, so now he's known to the algorithm probably as the smut game you know, channel. Yeah, so he, I, I would not be surprised I, I, if he sort of regret and uh, by accidentally digging himself into that hole and actually unable to dig out. Uh, for the algorithm to make them that, that much of a change, there's no accidental about it, if you ask me. Hmm, sorry, this place uh, needs some fixing. Take some Solons and repair the melee training. Okay. Rank wood. Let's see. Hit apples. Hit at the right time. Mini game. Okay. Yeah, mini games is also very much a new grounds eras deal. Yes. I'm tempted for maybe yes, but this game does have story and plenty of it. Okay. It, so far, at least, it's shown that it has character. That's enough. You should be stronger now. Also, someone... <laughs> probably a good bunch of... Uh, <laughs> we can probably make a bunch of apple pies from those smashed apples. Special. Depends on the melee weapon equipped. Tool can cool down nine turns. Okay. Look at you already learning. Don't get cocky. Daddy. <laughs> Nukebound style games tend to be very sarcastic as well. 
So now to drain faster, you must improve this camp. And for that, oh, we need to pay up. Yeah, I think the original game with this was on new grounds, but this one is Steam and maybe on some consoles and not released on new grounds. Better. And don't forget, the more you upgrade this camp, the faster you'll train. Now let's work on your awful defense. Okay. Block apples. Don't block stars. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ooh. I do get a bit of a feeling that this game might involve quite a bit of grinding, though. Uh, it does. But most of the grinding can be done off screen, luckily enough. True. Okay, that will do for now. There. Hmm. Level up. Let's see. That level gave you some free stat points to spend. Let's put them all in melee. Okay. <laughs> Good. Now let's get you some decent weapons. <clears throat> as long as this doesn't turn into a grind fest where the grinding is required for hours on end or such. Melee weapons beginner, just plain as wood. Adventure. Okay. Uh, swords, blunts, uh, spear, daggers, large staff. Okay. M the minimum vital equipment if you're going, <laughs> if you're to go out there. <laughs> Let's equip one of these right now. Okay, yeah, we... <laughs> the next stage is iron weapon. At the moment, it is just... Plain ass wood weaponry. The sword, how original. Now it is the classic. Easy to make, easy to train with. Time to take your revenge against the mighty mosquito. Uh, I think a spear easier to make and easier to train with. True. Oh yeah, that's a lot more damage. And a lot more health. <laughs> we jumped up 180. <laughs> Watch out, this one looks dangerous. Hold the left button to block and reduce the damage taken. Blocking requires charges that replenish over time. Okay, so it isn't just... just auto-battling stuff. <clears throat> uh, where are those charges? Up there. Okay. Yep. Let's <laughs> pin it in by its nose. Hey, you actually did it! Congratulations! It was almost not completely terrible. <laughs> Loot and just some coins. Uh, just a bunch of coins. <laughs> Correction. <laughs> well, you're on your own now, and the never see is yours to explore. Next time you get beat up, come see me at the training camp. Be careful out there. <laughs> All oh, right, I see. No, I thought Falcon and Wonderbot play this. I forgot which one that actually finished it. Okay. I might take a look around, but... Yeah, probably going to avoid Falcon, if possible. Uh, it's wrong. I, again, I watch them now and then. I'm not a hardcore watcher. I want to watch... If they, they have a series and if you're interested in to watch, they may watch it. But, uh... Yeah, I have uh, stopped watching the smarter ones. I just watched the actual point and click ones. Let's see, what have we here? Tavern. It wouldn't be an adventure game without a tavern. Oh no, him. Hops, I'm so bored. Oh, you're here, finally. You must help me, the horrible witch. She took my... Hmm. My Wendy. My adorable Wendy. <laughs> Stupid witch. I wish you could kill her right now, but she's, like, way too strong for you. First, you need to find the four super treasures. And then you will kick her evil butt. She will pay. But you? <laughs> so cool. We'll have fun together. So the first super treasure is... Shiny Stone. It's all the way at the top of the giant hill. Good luck, my hero. Okay. Someone may have been dipping into their own stock a bit too much. Okay, let's see. And these prices go up as we do things. Let me guess. This is going to be on the evasion. 
Yeah, dodge attacks. Dodge at the last moment for a star. Yep. 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 Oh, okay. duck, jump. Yep. Okay, certain types of dodges are not going to work against certain attacks. Like that. There we go. Falling for that one. Okay, so we can just keep doing this until we get sick of it. Okay. So yeah, a lot of brightening could be done by doing this over and over. Uh, let's leave it yeah. at that. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of agility. And you can see, the grind, these, these port can be done off screen. Okay. So, a uh, maybe? Mm. Well, is it, but is maybe what this, this would, maybe this would be more for YouTube. Then we can cut out, uh, because we oh. don't know how much progress we could actually make before needing to grind again. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. like sometimes we might we'll be able to them. get like a full hour, but other times uh, we could, <laughs> we might have end up like getting only like a single level of progress. Yeah, like, I like this game. It has a lot of good humor. We will have a lot of laughs. But yeah, maybe it'd be indeed better as a YouTube video. So yeah, streaming this... It, it would mean you may need to do a lot of grinding off-stream off before playing it for two hours and pray you don't need to do a lot of grinding in the middle of it. Okay, so, that'll do for now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hell of a lot. <laughs> oh gosh, but yeah, it, I, I, I actually be agree with Hilian. For could we stream this? Yes. Can we off stream grind it? Yes. May a big grinding middle scene happen? Very likely. And that's where the problem comes in, indeed. Okay, these are just extra points that you get to put in. Let's do a little bit of this, and then we'll see how far we can get with the uh, points that we've gotten so far. Oop, no one blocked those. Okay, at least these minigames aren't too easy to the point where you go, uh, where you risk falling asleep. Nope, don't block those. <laughs> it's almost an instinct to move to block them. Let's stop once this uh, the streak ends. Right there. <laughs> Wooden Disciple gets three combo medals of uh, rank wood. Okay. Uh, oh. And this is the beginner equipment. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have 19 nickels to our name. So let's just see how far we can get on this. Oh. Okay, that's a goal for us to work through. That is a distance, yes. That's less of a distance. <laughs> okay, here we go then. You can now dodge attacks using right mouse button. Try to dodge at the last second to counter. Don't waste it on weak attacks. Yep. <laughs> Instant kill. Yeah, that's a big jumping health as well. Okay, yeah. I'm presuming that on flash, this would uh, on 
I'm presuming on like uh, new grounds, this game probably would have been a lot more grindy. Yeah, the the armor games. Armor games, yeah, this, ar armor games has been. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I say, this one was not released in new ground. The original okay. uh, Acres to it, I think, was. Okay, let's equip that. Also, always nice when it shows the changes in stats. Yeah, mm. what were you to say? Uh, kind of forgotten now, but yeah, let's see. Attention, please, this is important. You, if you block at the last moment, you will perform a counter. Don't mess up the timing. Let's see if this... Yep. There we go. Right as they move and make the moves forwards. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah now, now I get it again. Uh, <clears throat> Armor Games is pretty known to being fair with things. Also, let's use this. Yep. Okay, just a double attack. Yeah, Armor Games isn't known to be as much of a nuisance as other Flash developers and such. And a bunch of money and a new <laughs> a skull, no, no, a helmet. Okay. Some decent money. Okay, and that one's going to be hard. Uh, hmm. Wait, what did that say? Give me a sec, equip that. The floppy spears. Okay. Let's give you here a try. Okay, they are also going up in... <clears throat> up in health and such quite quick. And they haven't done too much grinding so far. Yeah, but I do, I do get the feeling that grinding is going to be a something we need to do really frequently to get any progress. Yeah. Because we are progressing so, fast, but so are the enemies quite quickly as well. Like, already we're getting beaten at the first stage again. I thought we could at least get some <laughs> decent progress in... <clears throat> Okay. Goblin Brutes. Yeah, we're not going to win this. Okay. World map. Back to Soul Town. There's a blacksmith. Let's see. Ranged weapons. I can actually talk with you. Borth. Um, hello. I hope you liked uh, the wooden weapons. I know it's not ideal, but it's only a start. <laughs> okay, at least he knows that the equipment sucks. Uh, we, okay, now we need silver to <clears throat> to unlock those. Uh, let's see, more damage, but less block damage with the old paddle, really. Practice daggers. Hmm. Sorcery damage. Okay. So there is going to be magic as well. Uh, let's actually put a bunch of points into the fence since, well, <laughs> you'll need to survive to make it through places. Oh, wait. We can, we can upgrade the camp. There. This will increase the, the rate at which we gain points. Okay. And yeah, it also right, acts then. as a bit of a money sink. Yeah, and also, would make the grinding part smoother? Again? <laughs> uh, maybe. Let's do I a little bit more of this. See how much this gains, and probably then just uh, go to the next game. Yeah, but again, I have seen the game, it, it is fun to at least watch, and it has good humor. But I agree with you that the grinding part, again, mostly can be done off screen. But as we saw just here in the combat, you may never know when you need to do the grind, so. Yeah, it can be iffy to stream. 
Holy! Yeah, they are going real fast with this now. Oh, it's not that! I'm surprised how well you handled everyone else struggled this far! There we go. <laughs> okay, and... Yeah, that's a full level <laughs> onto the next one. Bronze. Ew, you handled it way better than the other YouTubers I've seen play this. <laughs> well, I, I used to play a game called Dance Online quite a lot, which well, was basically DDR, but a free... <laughs> but a free MMO. It is quite dead now. Uh, but yeah, I still have some of the reaction speeds. Yeah, th that I would say would probably reduce the damn grind by a lot. <laughs> Let's see, we have a new skills. Uh, bash, stun for three turns. That would be really useful like, in double battles. Uh, oh, we have, oh, we, oh, we can put points in making these even better. Okay. Uh, let's see, minus one turn, 13 turns a cooldown, that is quite a lot. Uh, let's get another of these. Okay, and stats. Uh, let's, oh, we can also see what these upgrade. Health, dodge cooldown, and crit chance. We get about, we get the same amount of health from those, and more of that. Um... Let's put points here, since that's the lowest. No. Uh, did I, actually, I did start... Yes, I did start the timer. We have about four minutes. Let's, let's give this another try. This is probably going to be a lot easier now. There. Get rid of you. Okay, stun. There. Okay. Strong move immediately off the bat. I'm guessing if we manage to dodge at the right time, we can possibly parry with that as well. And again, it avoids full damage. So that would be... Yeah, probably just the fact that we don't take any damage at all is probably going to be the strongest point of dodging. Okay. Some more equipment. Okay, but does do we have enough to actually move on one other stage, or do we need to go back to grinding already? <laughs> hey, listen. During a critical hit, click when you see the, uh, the exclamation mark to perform a super critical hit. It will deal crazy damage. Okay, nice to know. A wolfie, which is a you added in. Also, just a new ground thing, just... <laughs> Make changing names ever so slightly. And yeah, it looks like it's already uh, grind time again. Yeah, and also you can tame these animals later. Way so, too early. Yeah, you can have companions. Okay. Down, boy. Yeah, I didn't... This would re this would be really just be a YouTube only game, I'd say for us. <clears throat> yeah. Unless we do something like uh, two free hour grinding before each stream. <laughs> oh, we can chat with you. Hmm, seems like you ranked up. Not bad, Iriko. You're completely untalented, but at least you're trying. Again, just sarcasm as, as far as the eye can see. Yeah. Oh God. But yeah, I always said this. It I think the healing will go insane if we have him grind for one or two hours before each uh, time we stream this. Yeah. Like, th these are not bad grinds, but doing this for one, two hours straight? Yeah, even then, they didn't... Yeah, they just... Yeah, that just be too much. Okay, I do like the over here that it shows you how many times you need to get points to get into the next medal. So you know when you can stop. Yeah. It even tells over here as well, even though your eyes should be over here. Hmm. Yeah. I would not be against us making this into a YouTube series, but again, it's your call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
pretty sure I saw the staff go through our head there for a second. Let's see. Let's do one chain of this. Okay. Yeah, oh, this God, is still going just... to take quite a while, though. I think it's got a youthful nickname for this game. What then? Edgy Rayman? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Okay. Uh, we don't have enough to upgrade and we don't have enough to unlock other stuff, but... Uh, uh, I can see that people would... I can see why people would like this game. It is a, a decent a gameplay cycle of going out to fight, getting your ass kicked, then training yourself up, heading out to fight, and getting your ass kicked again. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe for just <laughs> YouTube only. For now, though... Uh, we can do one more game, I think. So let's do this one, Tavern Master. Because, well, it's the next uh -oh. one in the line. Though I don't think we'll be on this one too long. Uh, if the game wants to oh. behave, that is. I almost have got to make a joke from the, the, the uh, so, from uh, Sword and Soul. Oh. How many times haven't you, haven't you crushed a ship? <laughs> Uh, not too often, at least when I crash it, I can get it out again. And the game doesn't it's, it's want like to respond times. for some reason. Or does it? There we go. Yeah, okay. it's a little bit... Move Here you up. Go. Yeah, I really wish games would just say where the hell I put them, but I will. And yeah, this game has a sort of sequel in Blacksmith Master, which is basically the, the gameplay is very similar to this. One, uh, anyways, new game, uh, yes, basically, well, in a game called Tavern Master, you can guess what this is going to be about. You're going to make and build a, a tavern, and you're going to try and not run it into the ground. They would have liked it if there were multiple save slots, but oh well. Uh, let's see, difficulty, relaxed, easier to make money, and disasters are much less likely, or much less dangerous, everything is balanced, this is how the game was meant to play, and hard. Let's go with normal. And let's start the timer. Welcome to your tavern, you will be in charge of managing and growing your business. Take a look around, move the camera by dragging while holding the scroll wheel or using the WSD keys. Great job, you can also rotate the camera by holding your right mouse button and moving the... Yeah. Tavern doesn't look like a tavern at all. One wall is missing, there are no doors and no windows. Let's fix that. Yeah, what's the same? What's the wall missing? Let's first build a missing wall. Less like that. A door for the customers to get in. And at least one window. So it doesn't look like a prison cell. Great job, now let's buy some tables and benches. Over here. Uh, let's buy the first table in the list, which is the cheapest. Let's put that down there. And we can see how many seats it can have. And there. Two each. You can see that one of the mansions is not inside any light range. Let's buy a candle light to fix that. And put that on the wall there. Great job. Now that we have enough seats for our guests, next up would be buying beer to serve. Let's turn that off. To buy the beer, you should go to the bar first, click on the bar to open the menu. We currently only have water to serve. Let's buy another barrel to store the beer. Yep, beer barrel. To fill the barrel, we first have yeah, to serve the beer, we first have to fill the barrel. Yep, click. Max refill. Okay, get out of there. something. You hmm? know when you come on this battery to throw and accidentally hit a computer with a snowball? Yeah. That's even worse that's even worse with new modern computers for unlike older computers, modern computers have more ventilation areas. Like you yeah, know where it can get in and such. Yeah. <laughs> also, yes, I am noticing the white bar at the top. Apparently the game does not want to move into the exact spot that all the other games with these very same resolution would go to not have that. 
Also, the I music is quite loud. I didn't notice it until you mentioned it. Let's see, audio. Let's drop that by half, so that whistle isn't blaring in our ear. Great job. Now we have a place for people to sit. You know, we have drinks to serve. Final thing missing is to hire staff. Uh, we also staff. Be, by the way. <laughs> Bartenders. Every day you'll get new candidates for hiring. Pick one of these four by clicking the hire button. They have stats. They can carry maximum of drinks. There are speed when they are carrying stuff and not carrying stuff. They, he's actually faster while he's carrying stuff. Okay. <laughs> How quick it takes to them to pour a drink and the salary and traits. Can it carry eight drinks at the same time? That overrides that. Uh, it attracts 3.5 more customers every day. Uh, don't ask why they carry in half a corpse. Or someone, <laughs> well, maybe someone who's missing their legs, I guess. Let's get you. And we'll need waitresses as well. You should hire a waitress and we are done. Gains experience two times faster. Mood decreases 20% slower. Gets one coin of tips with every day. Mood is not affected by cleaning. Let's get the fast experience one. We prepared everything needed for the guests to start coming in. Before we unpause the game, let's see how you can unlock new stuff for the cat tavern. Click the research button. Upgrades are researched by serving different types of guests, and you can see the cost of research on the left side of it. For kitchen, we need to serve 25 common guests. Start the research. Okay, simple tech tree stuff. Number of guests per day tells you how many people will come into your tavern and on average every day. Buy decorations and upgrade your tavern to increase that number. Uh, yeah, 19 at the moment. <clears throat> We're all set and our tavern can be opened. Click the play button to resume the game. Yep. <clears throat> My final tip to you is that you watch out if there is enough space to sit. If all the seats are taken, buy more tables and benches. Good luck. And yeah, that's <laughs> that's the start of it. <clears throat> okay, we have 230 in money. We have enough on that. Let's see, what have we here? Some quests, own four tables, eight benches. Change the tavern name by clicking the assign and finish any research. Let's see, there's the sign. Uh, there. <laughs> okay, and by doing these we get points, for which we get rewards. Oh god. <laughs> Dutch ship in a calm sea. If you were to stream this, have you guys had a good uh, tavern name? What then? Drakes and Moles. <laughs> Okay. Or Full Drake already. on the hill. <laughs> right, that made to be taken out of context. Seats. Okay, it auto passes during building. As uh, wait. Okay, that is in the lights because there's a light right here. Okay, yeah, Lucky pretty enough. simple gameplay, but as it goes, it does. Uh, get more complicated, people get impatient with their drinks and such, or having to wait on their drinks and such, and well, there will be, be fire risks and such. And beyond that, it's just a case of, well, keeping up with demand. Let's speed up some. <clears throat> okay. Everyone is doing well so far. We may need... We'll probably have to get another waitress once uh, people start leaving and things need to be cleaned. Because, yeah, like we know with Dave the Diver, nobody likes sitting at a... well, a filthy spot. Okay, and the first day is almost done. And yeah, so far, so good. Cleaning is, of course, a lot easier since, well, you can carry a lot more. <laughs> well, you, you can still carry quite a few at once, even when she is getting bring drinks out. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can set priorities here. So we can, well, <laughs> have certain staff focus on serving drinks and others on cleaning. But yeah, simple starts. 
We can expand outwards eventually. You can even expand upwards and into other things. Let's see, total income minus a thousand. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it's the first day where you need to build a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, you, you, got a, you got a level already. You take 12 in salary. Two in, uh, zero to two in tips. But you are pretty fast and carry five drinks at once. Is that the ability point you could spend? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, five drinks is the max already. Uh, let's up your speeds. Uh, maybe should have put it into the carrying speed, but I will start next day. We expect 20 guests. <clears throat> and yeah. Basically, this is a, a bit of a chill game, you could guess, uh, say. Just build out your stuff slowly, but certainly, and well, just enjoy as things work out. Or try and <laughs> or or try and just run things a lot harder. <laughs> See how long you can last or such. <clears throat> yeah, I, I've already played this game to a point where I was basically drowning in money, where it wasn't much of a challenge later on. But yeah. <clears throat> it's a decent game. It's I think it's pretty cheap as well. Might as well check that. Uh, let's see, we have about 10 minutes to go, because we started late. Let's see. Steam. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta. Tavern. Yeah, tavern Master, 15 euros. Okay. Yep, Abram got a level. Uh, there, let's upgrade your pouring speeds. Serve 20 customers, own three tables, finish any research. Uh, we can afford another table, I think. So if we can afford to... Kitchen instructions. Congratulations on unlocking the kitchen. Here is 800 uh, gold bonus, so you can have enough to build it. Step one, go to the kitchen shop, buy a kitchen sh uh, counter, plate shelf and a crate, hire a chef, wait for customers to order food. Yeah, because it wouldn't be much of a tavern if we were just serving drinks and such. Okay. Let's just add on a section here. Put in the door. A floor. Actually, we probably want stone floor, just to be certain. Okay. Uh, kitchen. Let's... Let's turn around a bit. There. There. And... There. Probably a bit oversized at the moment, but I will. And we still have enough to put down another table. Some seats. There we go. Oh, and I forgot. Almost forgot. Hire chefs. Let's see. Salary of five. Skill for desserts, main course, and soups. Gains experience twice faster. Doesn't decrease when carrying something. Okay. Uh, let's get someone who is speedy. That they are instantly arrive. And let's select a new research. Lemonades, extra guests, or musicians. Let's go with lemonade. And, yeah, you, you can see how things can expand outwards from here. Get yeah. all of those. Definitely a relaxing game. Yeah. Again, it, it is a cheap game, so not too much of it should be expected of it. But it is still nice and all. We'll probably have to hire a new waitress. Okay, the music is getting a little bit loud again for some reason. Here we have our menu. Uh, we'll have to order some ingredients for all of these, but we have them all. We start off with a good batch. Uh, yeah, let's hire another waitress, someone specifically for foods. Um, fast experience. 
Uh, let's put you on low priority with these, medium on that, high with food. And yes, there will be hotel stuff and takeout later on. Uh, you will lower your food priority a bit. And let's just keep on going then. And yeah, we also have prestige here. Uh, make more customers come to your uh, tavern. You g get the most prestige from buying decorations. And yeah, later on, you can also hold <clears throat> hold events where you can get a lot of specific kinds of customers to come in. <laughs> Only a profit of 37 gold. Okay, next day. Well, yeah, you can see how things can slowly but surely expand out. Though, in my experience, just serving foods and drinks can just get you going as long as you expand. Yeah, slowly but surely. <clears throat> AKA, don't rush. Yeah. That's a, okay, really? The developer is literally called Untitled Studio. You didn't notice that earlier? No. <laughs> okay, uh... Switch you low on foods. Low on... Uh, let's switch you medium on cleaning. I want one to focus on foods, one on the drinks, because they're getting impatient here already, slowly but surely. But if that builds too much and such, well... Okay, speed up again. Yeah, it's a nice little game. Can't be called great, but you can spend quite a bit of time on this. And yeah, later on you can expand into hotel stuff, uh, takeout stuff, and well, get more bars, more chefs, more bartenders, etc., etc. I believe these have a maximum capacity of. Uh, let's refill. Of a certain amount of waitresses and such. Okay, we we could put down more beer barrels, but there's no real reason to have too many of the same. Uh, let me out of this. Just escape. Research done. Let's research musicians then. And buy a lemonade barrel. Uh, so lemonade from a barrel? Back in these days, it definitely would. Let's up the drinks to the max. And our chef can already be upgraded. Let's see. Let's let's just go for max and speed at the moment. I think there is a maximum level that can be obtained. Did we have lemons in medieval Europe? Um... Hmm, good question on that. Uh, Where did the lemons come from? Like, like, I, I know some fruits are from America, but some... I don't know where we got them. Or we already had a, like... The example, around this time, which I'm gonna guess... Uh, okay, my guess this is around maybe between 15 and 1300s. Which will mean carrots were still purple. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. Minus one eight meter just from things bought and such. Oh well. But yeah, I think the point gets across. Plus, we're about to hit two hours. Anyways. So yeah. Maybe something for chill streams. I probably should just. Keep a list of possible chill streams because we've gotten up quite a few of them those already uh but yeah not actually too many games to really play if on stream today uh subsurface yeah. circular looks good but uh, probably a bit too chatty for us to really be able to do much with super sami roll nice platformer if <laughs> cute little <laughs> it is cute definitely as well uh if, but not really our style, because we mostly go for story stuff and such. Uh, Swine, uh, we have a bit of a history with old RTS games. 
And I get the feeling I would get absolutely trounced in this game's later half. <clears throat> and yeah, Swords and Souls never seen. Definitely something we could try for YouTube, but that would be rather erratic with uploads probably because I would need to <laughs> probably best at play thing, uh, with you a lot <laughs> for commentary as well. But a lot of it would just be uh yeah uh, we'll have to see how that i'll, I'll probably do just a, ma a fuck ton of grinding on my own so we don't have to uh, try and find things to talk about during that which would well even then probably just get cut out anyways and yes. yeah yeah mm -hmm. it, if we were to do that we could stream it but then yeah, it would involve a lot of off-screen grinding before we stream it. And yeah, if if even if we do stream it, we could probably just as end, uh, just as likely end up like doing uh, passing one or two stages and then need to grind again. Yeah. So I may yeah, I may rewatch a YouTube who played this to see if to make so to see if the comment if it's very grindy or it's for we know it might be a very merciful grind for we know. Yeah, as long as we keep upgrading the camp to uh, <clears throat> to keep uh, to keep increasing the, how much we get for the grinds, but yeah, not for stream, maybe for uh, YouTube, and Tavern Master maybe for chill. Yeah, uh, and well, but, the but, one that got deleted. <laughs> yeah, for again, I don't think that thing was ever on console. I feel like they just wanted to make it. <laughs> I think whoever designed the game is one of those who, for some weird reason, hates to use the mods for anything in their game. Yeah, and and even then, just still puts in, you know, still puts in the you know, mouse controls in the tutorial, anyways, for some stupid reason. Yeah. It, uh. Yeah, it, it it looked like a game that had potential until we saw the controls and tutorial. Yeah. It, okay. it is kind of rare that we say no to a game, game uh, to a game, simply out of uh, just how bad the controls itself are. Oh, yeah. In this case, the <clears throat> tutorial. No, oh, yeah. Next time we start, or, or next week we start with Terrorblade, and then a game that I'm very interested in trying and hopefully streaming, Tesla Graphs. Well, yeah, for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me change over the screen share so Drakia can also see. And yeah, for once, uh, it isn't like a massive list of people. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, we will stream more later today, by the way, folks. At least I think yeah. we are. In about two and a half hours, a bit more than that. Uh, basically, it's now 5.17 on about 8 p.m. So yeah, in about two and a half hours. Uh, yeah, what were, you know, what were we going to stream? Um, <laughs> Hip Breaker, yeah. we've already done Retribution and Cleo. Yeah, I think you said Ship Breaker, but I'm, I'm okay with Ship Breaker or Cleo. Okay. I don't want to rush with Cleo too much because, from what I've seen, there's only four acts of it, so I don't want to rush through it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Ship Breaker. Then. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. We have Jackson Sam who is playing Hellblades, uh, Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. We have Dr. Misunderstood with Resident Evil 4, the remake. Moonrise is playing Jackbox. Isaiah Rosier is playing Pal World. Sour Wolves is doing art. Okay. Touch Scaly Trail. Uh, yes, Scott's Daily, Touch Scaly Tail, not Trail. And three others are playing Pal World together. And Graham the Wolf is playing Viscara Cleanup Duty. We actually made a reference to <laughs> We actually mentioned that game like a bit ago. Uh, I forget actually where we did. Um, uh, I'm sure. I, I don't know. Palwood apparently have exploded popularity. Like they sold like 8 million in one week or something. Yeah, and it, I think they hit 100 million concurrent players. From what I've seen, it is certainly competent and it is still early access so it will still get worked on but i have heard words that uh, nintendo's uh, attention has been roused so yeah oh we'll see about long. that 
There are many games that are like this one. And just this one they re react to. Let's see. And uh, speaking of Palm World, K9 is also playing it. And that's the last one. So, uh, yeah, we have Pal World, Pal World, Viscara Cleanup Duty, Jackbox, Resident Evil, and Hellblade. I kind of, I kind of still want to keep Hellblade as a t possible streaming game eventually. Uh, I, for I forget what we actually said on that. I'll have to check what I noted it as. I was uh, hesitant about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's, let's go visit Grim the Wolf. It's been a long ass time, I'd say, unless you have another suggestion. Uh, let's go with Grim. Okay. Triple checking that the browser is muted. Copy the name, because I don't trust myself with fast typing names. Flash raid, paste. And yeah, before we start that, of course, though, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. And do we have any lurkers hanging around? We do have some names here. I will check your names against a, a list of known bots, uh, just as a basic security system, because I don't want to just be flooded with fucking bots. So yeah, the, if you aren't a bot, sorry. If you are, well, you don't have the capacity to be <laughs> offended anyways. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for your watching here or on YouTube. Yeah. And um, yeah, like I said, Shipbreaker in about two and a half hours-ish, if nothing gets in the way, that is. <clears throat> and yeah, before then though, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you again for watching. Until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and uh, watch out for undead seagulls. And swine. And swine. <laughs> <laughs>